Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, uh, we do have an announcement, and as you can see, we have a check uh, to my left over here, and it's usually a, a joyful occasion when, when we see uh, our congressman because he always is followed by a check, uh, or he's always bringing a check. It's not the airport, it's, it's other venues that we have here in our city, uh, and we're always very grateful uh, to, to have the congressman uh, here with us. Uh, uh, but before we start with the, the official agenda here, let me uh, make sure that, that uh, we, we know who's here. And of course, we have our, the Honorable Henry Cuella, a U.S. Representative from the uh, District 28. And uh, representing um, the Honorable Tracy King is Lupita Cepeda, and also she's a board member for LC, uh, and that's for uh, State Rep. Uh, Tracy King, uh, House District 80 of Laredo. Uh, and then we have uh, representing uh, the Webb County Sheriff, uh, the Honorable Martin Cuellar. Uh, we have Rick Rodriguez uh, joined uh, with Commander Martinez and Sergeant Tiseguirre. Welcome you all. And then uh, from Municipal Court, uh, we have the man himself, uh, uh, the Honorable Jesus Chuy Dominguez. Welcome, Judge. Uh, and uh, let's see. Also uh, from yeah, internally here in our city, uh, our interim city manager, uh, Mr. Samuel Keith, yeah, Sam, yeah, Samuel Keith Selman. <laughs> Keith, good morning. And then uh, I think we all know, and if you don't, that uh, today is uh, Keith's last day here in Laredo. We appreciate all the good work that you've done in that short period of time. I think you've done so much, uh, Keith. And personally speaking, I'm extremely grateful to you, and I'm sure the community is too. Uh, so we'll miss you, and and I'm sure we'll we'll talk uh, on and off uh, as the time permits. Uh, and also with the uh, City of Laredo uh, director for the airport, uh, we have Manuel de, de Luna. Uh, well, that's the yeah, department director. Uh, yeah, Manuel de Luna is, is he here? Yeah, there you are. Okay, good. Good to see you. And then uh, from the police department, we have. Representing Claudio Trevino, we have Officer Jose Espinosa. I know we see him all the time in all these functions. We appreciate all the good work that you do as well, Officer. Uh, and then uh, the Airport Advisory Board members, we have Elizabeth Guerriaz. She's also very, very helpful and, and involved in so many uh, in organizations uh, here with the Advisory Board for the Airport, but also Neighbor Works, Laredo, and, and uh, we appreciate that too. And then we have Boel Benavides also, who's a member of. I go ahead uh, on the advisory board here for the for the airport. And I believe if I missed some some other person, sorry, it wasn't on the list, but we'll we'll try to pick up uh, you know where, where we missed. Uh. So anyway, uh, again, I'm grateful to uh, uh, to receive uh, our congressman, uh, and uh, then I'll leave all the details uh, to him uh, as to. Uh, the, uh, the money and the uh, utilization of this money for the airport. So without further ado, uh, U.S. Congressman Henry Cuella is here with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mayor, uh, again, thank you so much, and I appreciate what the mayor of Laredo does, his leadership. Uh, thank you so much. And um, as far as I see Keith there, we're going to do a, uh, with the mayor, we're going to do a congressional recognition of Keith since this is his last day. We appreciate you coming back to Laredo, I think this is the second time, so we appreciate you being here. And I want to say uh, hello to everybody. It's good to be back. Um, Laredo is a little warmer uh, than Washington, D.C., uh, but it's always good to be back. And we, uh, we're going to be announcing the $10 million, but we also uh, want to, I want to talk about a couple things uh, real quickly. Uh, first of all, as you know, we're uh, halfway in the appropriations. Um, and in the appropriations, one of the things that I did in Homeland is that we added over $600 million to hire more TSA officers and to raise their salaries up so they could be uh, at the same level like other uh, federal officers. So the folks that do their job, very important work upstairs. Uh, hopefully we'll see more folks and hopefully um, uh, by the end of the year they'll get, uh, we'll make this final so they can have uh, better salaries and, and we can match uh, those uh, folks that we have. Uh, second of all, uh, the uh, Air Marine, uh, you know, I've been working on that. As you know, the money, we got the money, uh, $28 million. Uh, they've been a little slow, in my opinion. Uh, so we have been pushing them so they can go ahead. 
I just don't understand sometimes the federal government, you, you know, you put the $28 million and we're still working, but uh, we're working on that uh, so we can get the Air Marine, uh, and you know that's going to be a big plus for us here. Uh, mayor, as you know, you hired the uh, former mayor uh, from San Antonio, uh, Henry Cisneros. I met with him and his team uh, yesterday in my office in D.C. about the work that they want to do that the city of Laredo has contracted out with them. So we are working with them to help improve the cargo uh, work over here in Laredo. Uh, we're number one in trains, we're number one in trucks. I think in, in the state of Texas, we're number eight in cargo uh, Laredo, so we need to improve that. Uh, so we have a couple of strategies that we'll work with you, Mayor. You'll take the lead. Uh, but I will spend a little bit of time with um, uh, Secretary Cisneros yesterday uh, about this. Um, I, first of all, we're here to announce $10 million federal fundings for the Laredo Airport. Uh, they're in two different areas. Uh, first, it was a $1.4 plus million dollars in December of last year from the BIF, uh, which is the uh, by. Uh, the, the very, very by, uh, partisan bill that we bought uh, uh, to make sure that we get infrastructure money in. Uh, and then there was another award that just came out recently, which is uh, over the five years will be about $7.4 million. So that will bring about $10 million uh, for the uh, infrastructure. And this, again, will be for this terminal itself. So it's uh, $9.9 .9 million to be exact, almost $10 million. Uh, but as you know, the airport is very important. This airport was built in 1998, uh, and it needs some work. And as the media asked me uh, about, hey, there's been a lot of money that we have announced for the airport, uh, but people don't see that. And again, uh, since I started as a congressman, we brought in $216 million, roughly, $260 million uh, for the Loreto Airport, which is a tremendous amount. But most of it has been underground. Uh, you got to do the runways, you got to do the aprons where the airplanes park. And uh, so most of it uh, has just been underground. People don't see that, but it's very important. As you know, with three uh, runways, uh, we actually, our runway is larger than the one in San Antonio also, and we have more runways than the city of Mexico City also. Uh, so we have put in a lot of money into the, into the runways, and we're starting to see some things that people, and I think are, our, our commissioners, our airport folks that we have present here, we're starting to see things ca uh, people can see. The um, fire station, as you know, was built some years ago, and now we're going to start building uh, and doing the work here in the terminal. The $10 million is not enough, but it is a, a good start uh, so we can work this um, uh, area uh, at the airport. Uh, today's airport averages about 68 flights a week with four commercial airlines, uh, Air Mod. American Airlines, Allegiant Air, and United Airlines. Four airlines uh, and 68 uh, flights. Uh, usually, at least in my personal experience, when I leave in the morning to DC, they're full. Uh, when I come back, like last night, they were full also, and that's good. Uh, right now, Laredo is the um, is ranked, our airport is ranked number eight in the state of Texas for cargo. So we're trying to do the work not only for the cargo, but also for the passengers itself. So today is a good start. Uh, $10 million will help us get some of the work here. TSA, so we can improve the check-in. Uh, bathrooms also, so we can work on the bathrooms also. And hopefully uh, help expand the concession uh, so we can have the restaurants. And the bottom line is, you put $10 million into the economy, that multiplies the, the local economy and keeps uh, our economy moving. So I want to thank the city of Laredo, uh, Mayor, for you and the council. And hey, where is the councilman? Uh, but anyway, the councilman here, I want to thank them very, very much for the work that they're doing uh, for this area. So with that, I want to say thank you. I know we're going to hear uh, uh, from the airport. And then I would like, before you do the check presentation, uh, do a, a congressional recognition of uh, Mr. Selman on that, if that's OK with you, Mayor. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, then we'll have some, uh, now we have remarks by uh, Manuel De Luna, Jr., who's the operations manager, but, but I need to make a correction. Uh, uh, he's representing Gilbert Sanchez, who's the airport uh, director. Uh, so, Mr. De Luna. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Mayor, for this aggregation. <laughs> 
Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to thank Congressman Henry Cuella, uh, Mayor, City Council, and our city management for their continued support to our airport. The Laredo International Airport and the City of Laredo have partnered with the Federal Aviation Administration over the last five years, a few years, to work towards a terminal improvement program for our airport, including new passenger screening checkpoint, additional and renovated restrooms, and an improved concession program, as the Congressman was saying all enhancing the passenger experience for those using our airport. I want to acknowledge also the FAA for the role they have constantly played in supporting our airport. Their partnership in funding cargo apron improvements, taxiways, and other important safety and development programs that have been sincerely appreciated while contributing to the economic growth of this great community. When the terminal opened back in 1988, Landing on the upper level has served as a pre-board screening area sufficient prior to 9-11. Since then, the airport has realized additional air service, more flights, a new airline, and an increase in passengers over the years. And that's all good problems to have. As a result, congestion regularly occurs at the security screening checkpoint, which I'm sure many of you have experienced. So I really thank Congressman Henry Guaya and FAA support of this terminal improvement program. With this grant from uh, the bipartisan infrastructure law, airports terminal program that will go towards funding the modernization and upgrade of our terminal. These federal funds will be good to use for the enhancement that this community will get experience every time they travel. The Loreno International Airport serves as a critical economic engine and attracts both cargo and passengers into the city and connects Laredo residents and businesses to those around the world. The city and the airport are very pleased to accept this grant to go towards improvements for our airport. Thank you. Uh, at this time, if I can have the mayor join me and then we'll do the check presentation. If I can have Keith uh, come join the mayor and I. Uh, this is a recognition to the work uh, that Keith has done, as you know, being a senior manager is not the easiest job. It's always very difficult. Uh, but certainly, you know, we appreciate the good work that you've done for the city of Laredo. Uh, we thank you. We wish you the best of luck. On behalf of the U.S. Congress, congratulations for everything you've done on today. 